From the lottery to internet gaming, which is now legal here in New Jersey, of course, Senator Ray Lesniak was a driving force behind that. He's got a new bill now to try to make things go international. And Senator Lesniak joins us now. We welcome you back to the program. Uh, what uh, we, we heard about this idea to make uh, Atlantic City in New Jersey the international capital of internet gaming. What do you mean precisely? Well, I called it the uh, Silicon Valley of mm -hmm. internet. I'm now referring to it as the Mecca of internet gaming. There, it's a $30 billion global market, uh, and we're missing out on that. Uh, and this international gaming license will allow anyone across the globe, except anyone in the United States, because it's precluded, uh, except for our own little niche that we carved out, that I carved out for New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity to bring jobs to Atlantic City and uh, additional revenues to the state. It, it's now going to the Isle of Man, Gibraltar, other places. Might as well get those revenues right here in New Jersey. But there was that time when, when uh, it was being done here yes. and when it was shut down. Right. And now we're kind of turning things around? Well, the, you have to recognize that you cannot shut down the Internet. Mm -hmm. Uh, Egypt tried that, right, with disastrous results. Right. People are going to go on the Internet. I found out that my meek uncle, who was a quiet guy, he played poker on the Internet when it wasn't allowed. But mm -hmm. he was doing it, and a lot of people do. So we might so as well... So there's a market there that you want to tap into. Uh, surprisingly huge market, yes. how, how much did you say Well, again? in terms of the international market, it's yeah. $30 billion. Do you have an estimate of what New Jersey could glean from that? Um, you know, it depends on how, how many... Uh, operators we can attract here. We have some uh, uh, economic studies. Uh, it, it could mean uh, anywhere between five and 15,000 high-tech jobs, for instance. Would it require a new level of scrutiny, new types of regulations, uh, more infrastructure on our part? Uh, certainly more infrastructure that would be the investors uh, of, of, of the operators, but uh, we already have the regulations in place, so it'll be easy for us to do. Well, I have you here. Several other things going on, uh, obviously, with you. Uh, withdrawing the attempt right now to restore certain portions of the Equal Opportunity Act. Yes. Why? Um, because there are certain portions of that that are, that are slam dunks, for instance. The governor agrees with me. Uh, at least I believe the governor agrees with me. Uh, for a $200 million tax credit for, for redevelopment of uh, uh, affordable housing projects. These are decaying projects in urban areas that are crime infested. Uh, there are other areas like the uh, film and motion picture tax credit uh, that I do not have the support for that would generate a lot of jobs in New Jersey, but I, that need work. So I'm going to separate what we can easily get done and what we need to do more work on. So this will happen in January? Uh, early, as soon as we can in, in a new session. Correct. Also at this point it appears that the effort to ban uh, on pork farms the maternity pens for, for pigs also is being put on the side for now? Well, let, let's hope not for too long. Uh, these are, are very cruel uh, living conditions for pregnant sows. Mm -hmm. And they're pregnant 80% of their lives. They can't even stand up and move around. You've accused the governor of vetoing this for political reasons. I did, because there are 20 million pigs in Iowa. That's the first Republican primary headquarters of the, uh, of the National uh, uh, Pork uh, Council. Yes, absolutely. So uh, we're going to try to override his veto uh, before the end of this session. I'm one vote short, and I think I'm going to get it. Uh, Senator Weinberg announced that the uh, effort to legislate same-sex marriage is also being put on hold because of concerns within the uh, gay and lesbian community that it may actually limit their rights instead of expand it. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a, it's a family dispute. I'm the co-prime sponsor of marriage right. equality. We would like to get it into law. It gives it extra added protection because right now we, all we have is a superior court decision. Um, but there's d disputes within the legal community, lawyers disagreeing, surprise, surprise, <laughs> uh, as, to, as to how to go about it. So we, we, we took a step back. We're going to get everybody together, but I'm sure we'll move something uh, in, in the new session uh, to establish in law uh, that same-sex couples can get married. So it's being delayed, but this will not be denied. Uh, you, you cannot deny it. It's the wave of the future. It's inevitable. Senator Lesniak, thank you for coming in again, My sir. My pleasure. Thank you.